Hi everyone, it's Karen from the Geordie Grandma. Uh, I've got a quick video for you today. I was kindly sent some LED solar landscape spotlights. Uh, the company got in touch and asked me if I'd like to receive them. And we do have an area in our garden on the back steps where it's quite dark if you come in late at night. So I actually thought spotlights would be a good idea for to put in there. We do have a light at the back of the garden but it doesn't come on until you get nearer to it and by that time you're up the steps and I have tripped up them a couple of times so these spotlights should be good for that. Um, they are Countis, Q-U-N-T-I-S, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It says LED solar landscape spotlight in cool white and there is two in the box. Waterproof, 100% solar powered and it has an auto on off switch. So let's open the box and see what they look like. Take your specs off again. <laughs> you get a bit of a glare from the glasses when you're on camera. So open the box, everything's nicely packaged. There is a, that's a USB cable. So you must be able to charge it with a USB cable. I'm just gonna have a look at the instructions and see what it says. The instructions are in a few different languages, which is useful. Uh, yeah, it has got a USB charge socket, which is why we're getting the USB charger cable. It says, the way it works, the solar panel charges the built-in rechargeable battery in five to six hours. During the day, the solar panel receives sunlight and transforms sunlight into electricity that it stores in the battery. Then when night falls, the spotlight shines automatically for six to 12 hours. All you need to do is switch it on, install the light and admire the lighting in the night. So obviously I'm just taking, out, taking them out of the box. I haven't installed them yet, but I will put some footage in here of what our garden looks like when it's got no spotlights. And then I'll put some footage in of what it looks like with the spotlights in. Um, so let's finish unpacking and see what else I've got in here. Got the stakes to stick the solar light into um, the soil so there's two of those because I've got two spotlights there is one spotlight so that you can maneuver that spotlight around to tilt it up or down um, wherever you want it there's the solar panel on the top so when you put it in the garden just put the stake in there a minute when you put it into the garden obviously that's pointing upwards so it can get the sun and then you can move that about I'll probably have mine pointing down if I wanted to make the the steps brighter so yeah there's the you can see all the little the little bulbs in there with the, the glass front feel quite sturdy they, they don't feel like they're going to be something that would break easily so I have the other one here there's the other one exactly the same with the movable um, part and it's also got two packets of uh, screws and um, plugs in case you want to fix it to the wall which is a good idea I'll fix it to the fence so Warren just pointed out where he actually fix it to the, the wall with. Um, I've even got my glasses on and I couldn't see. So they've got holes in the bottom of there, three, three holes. Um, so you can use the, the screws and plugs they give you to fasten that to the wall. The on off switch is on the back, just there at the back. It clicks on and off. So if you don't want them to work you don't want to have them switched on you can always turn it off and the usb port is just at the back there as well so if you want to charge them um with the usb you can do and it's just come on <laughs> that's because i put it in the box can you see that the lights um actually come on when i put it in the box so there must be some charge in there somewhere so like I say, I'm going to put some footage here of what my garden looks like um, when it's dark before I put the spotlights in and then I'll put some more footage in to show you what it looks like uh, 
when the spotlights are on. I will put the links to these products below. Um, you can have a look at them on Amazon and the company have also given me a 10% discount just in case you want to, to buy some for yourself. So again, I'll put the discount code along here and I'll also put it in the description box below. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that review. Um, I'll see you again soon, so bye for now.